Hello, hello. Today we're going to talk about the story behind Guinea Pig Center. Since you've been listening to the videos, Guinea Pig Center is a little labor of love for me. After all, who could turn down cute critters and more time spent with them? Over the course of my life, I've had over 200 of them. Each had a unique personality and story. The beginning. When I was five or six, my siblings and I wanted puppies. My mother, in her infant wisdom, said no. Instead, we got Hazel and Patches. Hazel was the female, Patches was the male. So instead of puppies, we had little guinea pigs. Most of the guinea pigs from that first litter were rehomed once they weaned. However, in that period before, we learned a lot about little guinea pigs, including the little trick to keep guinea pig pups from escaping with plexiglass. That's where the roots of guinea pig center are. A couple of years later, we moved states. This change led to a larger house and of course, more space for guinea pigs. We did breed a few more litters, but post move, most of the guinea pigs we had were adopted from other places. Initially, it started off with a reasonable couple of cages. We did have to house the boys separately and that added to our cage count. However, the number of cages kept growing and the composition of the herd kept changing. We had cages made that could be subdivided with a little wire and kept growing from there. The single highest number of guinea pigs we had in the house was 29. Over the course of my preteen and teens, we typically had between 15 and 20 though. A few cages morphed into an entire wall in the living room. At times, those cages were four high. Over time, the wall evolved. We got one jumbo cage for the base layer since the girls could live together. That changed the wall structure considerably because we had to figure out how to pile on top of it without collapsing it. We also swapped in various cage sizes as the boy groups changed. Once we started graduating high school, the composition changed again. My parents stopped adopting in new guinea pigs before we left for college. They figured the time commitments would change, and they were right and they didn't want to be stuck cleaning all the cages on their own. The Guinea Pig Center site is a way for me to revisit my love of these adorable critters and share them with new people like you. These cute critters with unique personalities make exceptional pets. The Guinea Pig Center is here for information so more people can love these critters. Anyway, that's our story. Remember to subscribe below for more awesome Guinea Pig content. I appreciate you listening. Have a fantastic day.